this study we looked at the London Air Quality Network data showing pollution hotspots in London. We looked at for this route particulate matters in the range of two microns which are harmful to health. In the big balloon at the very front of the car, we've put in a lot of fine black dust to show how dirty the air can be. Then this air goes through the car, through the filters, and then what we show at the balloon that is connected at the back of the car is the fact that the air that comes out is absolutely clean. You have to think about Nexo very much as an air purifier on wheels. If you imagine that you follow two cars, petrol or diesel engine, it cleans up 99.9% .9 of their pollutants. To develop the route for this study, we looked at the London Air Quality Network data that was a study that was recently completed showing pollution hotspots in London. One particular area that was quite shocking was Marylebone Road, which um, exceeds the EU limits uh, quite significantly. Um, so this is an area that we, we looked at for this route, uh, for such as particulate matters in the range of two microns, which are harmful to health. Uh, these far exceed the EU guidelines. Fuel cell technologies have the potential to help in this area because they, they have no emissions at the point of use. So there's none of these particulates coming out of the exhaust pipe, which we have with conventional internal combustion, so petrol and diesel cars. So fuel cells work by using hydrogen gas as a fuel, compressed hydrogen gas, and they mix with oxygen from the air that we breathe. This combines to form H2O, which is just water, but it also releases electricity and some heat. So fuel cells can be used in any application where you need electricity, such as cars or buildings, and the heat can also be used in um, stationary power applications. It's a very efficient way of releasing energy, and there's no harmful emissions associated with this. And the way they differ from technologies such as battery electric cars, which we see quite a few of on the road recently, is that they have a longer range in general, and they don't take as long to fill up. So with a car, you'd maybe have to charge it overnight or leave it for a few hours. The hydrogen fuel cell car is filled up in a similar way to you fill up your petrol or diesel car um, in the range of two to three minutes. Nexo is a fuel cell car that runs on hydrogen. So what it does, it produces its own electricity. So the hydrogen and the oxygen mix in the fuel cell stack. That produces electricity that helps run the car basically. What's really powerful about this technology is the air that goes in is full of pollutants, as we know, but what the air that goes through the filters of the car and the air that comes out is absolutely clean. So how it works is in the big balloon at the very front of the car that is connected to the car, we've put in a lot of fine black dust to show how dirty the air can be. Then this air goes through the car, through the filters, and then what we show at the balloon that is connected at the back of the car is the fact that the air that comes out is absolutely clean. What the government needs to do, and is doing to a certain extent, is help develop the access to refueling stations for customers and also help with incentives towards the purchase price of those cars. The government is working and is putting programmes into place to help developing the infrastructure so we can refuel the cars, but also providing some grants to help towards the purchase price of the cars. So we do need to work closely with the government to make sure that we have more of those cars on the road. You have to think about Nexo very much as an air purifier on wheels really. So as you drive along you don't put any pollutants out and what it does as well is if you imagine that you follow two cars, petrol or diesel engine, it cleans up 99.9% .9 of their pollutants on the way. In terms of statistics, if you drive Nexo for an hour, it cleans up enough air for 42 adults to breathe in an hour.
this is the filter before the demonstration and this is the filter after the demonstration showing how much air pollutants we've captured.